This is Marisa here in Landers Outdoor World and uh, you'll see I'm in my rash vest and my leggings today because what we're going to do is give you a hand in putting on your wetsuit. Now if you've never worn a wetsuit before, uh, putting it on the first time can be a bit of, there's, there's um, I suppose there's a right way and a wrong way to do it really and if you don't know what to do you can make it a bit difficult for yourself. So that's what we're doing here today now is to try and give you a few tips to help you put it on easily so that you'll get the right fit and it'll be comfortable for you. Okay, so we're going to start with one little tip anyway. So you have to get your foot through this and it's knee free and that can be a bit difficult. So this will make life easier. Okay, so two little plastic bags that you put on your feet and that will help your foot slide through the wetsuit. Now, I suppose the first thing I'll tell you is what not to do. So don't open it up like this and try and stick your leg in and try and pull it all the way up to your body because what will happen is you'll get a suction cup effect and it will get stuck. So now what I say to people is put it on like a pair of tights. Now women go, oh great, men look a bit funny. <laughs> so, okay, what you're doing, we'll say a pair of jeans so to make life easier. You tuck it down like this so that you have the top part of it shoved all the way down and you've got your you can see that the crotch area is there right okay so you put your first leg in and now we want to get it on nice and straight and what you want to do is bring it up as far as the knee okay so you've got it sitting here over where your knee should be and don't start pulling any more from that leg then you go with the second leg Now, when you're first putting on a wetsuit, um, it will probably be the most, uh, I suppose it will be the tightest it's going to be because it hasn't molded to your body shape or it hasn't loosened out a bit from exercise uh, or from swimming in it. So it's kind of factory settings, do you know what I mean? It's, it's that little bit more stiff. So the first time you put it on with a, a good fit, it's going to be that little bit well, I suppose you might find it a bit unusual. You wouldn't be used to wearing something so close to your skin, right? So now, okay, you've got it as far as here. Your next mission is to bring it up as far as the crotch, right? And you want it nice and close in to your crotch because if you leave any kind of a pocket there, it's going to be harder to pull it up once you've got the suit fully on you, okay? So you've got it nice up here, nice and tight, right? Your next job, Spring it up over your bum, okay? And you'll see actually I've got my rash vest on here and you can, this is designed to go on underneath wetsuits. It's UV protected as well, so it's great for wearing around on the beach if you're running around or if your kids are running around, but also give you that extra level of warmth underneath your wetsuit should you need it. Okay, so now you'll see that's nice and close, okay? And you've got it up as far as here. Now your next job is to bring it up over your shoulders. If you want, you can wear plastic bags on your hands as well. But I find this is kind of sliding through easy enough. So you get it into the uh, nice cuff here around the wrists, bring it up to the elbows, bring it up, and do your best to bring it up over the shoulders. Now a little thing, if you have long nails, if you're a lady, be very careful with tugging and pulling on the neoprene like that because you can make holes in it. Um, so just be careful around that, okay? Now, and next hand, okay? And you'll see once you've got that little bit of a, a procedure how to put it on, it can be actually quite easy. Okay, and you don't want to leave huge pockets of, of space underneath your armpits either, so pull it down so it's nice and close. Okay, so now we're with the bones of it done. See the back here, I've got a string, okay? And you pull that up. Now, carefully get a cut in your hair like I have. Now, Marie, pull that down a second. Okay. <laughs> My camera woman is multi-talented. <laughs> now, okay, so you've got this string which you can actually, I made a bit of an ordeal of it there, but once you're used to the wetsuit, you can just pull it up away nice and easy so somebody doesn't have to zip it for you. Okay. And you've got your bit of Velcro. So now with my wetsuit on. That wasn't too hard at all, was it? Now this is a kid's size 16, so it's not the age 16, so it's not the exact fit for me, but it's close enough. So I can tell you what you're looking for. So first of all, you want a nice close fit to your body, like a second skin. 
Um, you don't want pockets of air here or pockets of air here. You'll see I have a few pockets here which will fill with water and will actually make me cold, okay? And the same if you've got a big space here, will fill with water, will flush, will make you cold. So the closer fitting it is to your body, the warmer it will be in the water, okay? So now a few things to look out for. Especially when parents are buying for kids, there's often the temptation to get that little bit big to get growing room. And I appreciate that and I understand like you don't want to be buying them all the time, etc. So a few things, if there is a good bit of room, the child won't get the same benefit out of the wetsuit. So it will be that little bit, there'll be more water stored in it. But there's a few things to watch out for. If, it, if it's too long for, for a, an adult or a child, you'll have a pocket either here in the crotch or you will have a, a good bit of space up here and then water can gather there. Conversely, if it's too short for an adult or a child, you will have um, a kind of a pull from shoulder to crotch which will pull down on your neck and give you quite a choking sensation. Um, now, this is meant to be tight because it's a seal. So it's quite important to get the, the right length, especially from shoulder to crotch. Arms, not so much because if you've got shorter arms, you can just toggle, turn it in like this or shorten it up a bit. And the same with the bottom of the legs. It's not a huge deal if it's just that little bit too long. If you've tried on a lot of wetsuits and you can't find the exact fit around, you, around um, length. But it is quite important from shoulder to crotch that it's right. Um, now, in terms of sizing, in adult sizing, there's a, a, for men there's an awful lot of variation. So there's short and skinny, short and round, there's long and, and round and tall and, and there's such a size range that if you come in and try on a few, irrespective of your body shape, you'll probably find the right thing for you. And there is measurements on, on all the, the wetsuits around uh, waist, chest, and height so you can kind of follow them and we'll give you a hand as well to help you find the right one for you in terms of ladies it's a bit more straightforward so it's like 8 10 12 so if you're an 8 in a ladies pair of jeans generally speaking uh, go for the ladies 8 in the wetsuit and it should be a close enough fit with kids um there is age on it you'll see there's a little tag here so there is age age 16 age 14 age 12 age 10 etc now, there's, um, children are not all the same size, so sometimes they have to go up or down a size. So that's quite important to come into store to try it on to find the right fit for you. Now, of course, don't forget to take off their plastic bags. Okay, so that's um, a little bit of a demonstration now on how to put it on. And uh, you would see I made easy enough work of it. It wasn't too hard. And, um, and this is quite a good fit for me. It's quite a close fit. Um, so, you know, uh, now I hope we've educated you a bit and uh, you'll feel a bit more confident to come in and try one on. And if you've had a wetsuit for years and have been battling to get into it, now you know how to do it right. I'm Marisa. Thank you very much for watching.